Hey, how y'all doing? This is Michael Williams. I'm here to I'm making this video to let everybody know. Don't let anybody stop you from accomplishing your goals. If you set your mind to something, you can accomplish anything. And I have done it over and over and over and over and over again. You know, I have said I have done things and I've done and I have did things. And I'm a perfect example of getting things done. And um, I, I do things my way. I don't know about anybody else, but I do things my way. Now, I had a debate in the hospital when I was getting surgery on my foot for the infection. A young lady uh, was debating with me about being a diabetic, and she was telling me what I can do. And I'm like, well, you don't know me. I know what you might you're telling somebody else, but you don't know me. You don't know what I have done already. So you can't say what I can't do. And I hope she listened. You know, I hope she she see my video. Now, I got the surgery back in April of the seventh. That's when they did surgery on my foot, April the seventh. And uh, I left the hospital on the 11th, April 11th. I came home. My goal, like I was telling the young lady, they put me on insulin back in 2004. And they told me, this is, you know, the insulin going to help me and things like that. And, and I don't believe in taking drugs. You know, um, I know that these hospitals, these drug companies, they in business to make money. They not in business to make you healthy. That's what I always believe. It, it, you in business to make money. You not in business to solve problems. That's why you have not found a cure for diabetes, cancer, and all other diseases because it's more money into treatment than to solve the problem. So they don't care about us dying. They just want us to be stuck on these medicines. And um, I did my own little research in prison. So I knew what I was doing. And, and, and me and a young lady had a, we were debating about it. She told me what I can't do. I'm telling her what I can do. Um, like I said, I, I, I left the hospital on the 11th. I came home and focused. In May, my A1C, perfect, down to six. I remember when it was up to 14, A1C was up to 14. Then I got down to six. The doctor took me off the insulin. Why? Because I did what I set up to do. The young lady didn't think I could get off the insulin, but I knew what I could do. Now I'm off insulin because I keep my blood level right now. I learned what I was doing. And, and you know, they always say, well, you can eat this, you can eat that. Bullshit. Don't believe all the hype. Don't believe what the, these motherfuckers tell you can eat. Stop all that bullshit. Stop everything. Stop eating everything, and that's what I did, and I ain't doing insulin. It's a lot of stuff that you can do for your body, but you gotta do it. You gotta concentrate, you gotta focus, and you can't settle for no. I don't 
I don't believe it, no. I don't have that in my vocabulary. When I went to prison, they gave me 13 years. And, you know, the guard looked at me up. Damn, they gave me 13 years. I had to do eight years. Just to, on 13, you got to do eight. I did four years, and I got my ass out of there because I found a way to get out. Everybody else didn't think I could get out. Even my mother talked to some of my family members, and they was telling my mother, oh, he ain't gonna be able to get out of this. I'm out of prison. I got out of prison early, and I didn't have to tell on nobody, but I found a way. I found a loophole in the system. Now, I had a cousin that's a lawyer. Her buddy was the one that got me 13 years. That motherfucker. But I got myself out. Now, like I said, I, I made sure they wasn't going to cut no more of my feet. So that's why I, I came home and I changed my eating habits. I said, I'm, I'm limiting this damn diabetes. Diabetes going out the window. I'm, I'm, I'm going to eliminate it. It's a way you can get away from diabetes. And I'm going to tell everybody how to do it. I'm going to put it in my book. And I know they're going to try to do everything in their power to stop it. You know, because uh, it's, it's billions and billions of dollars made on being a diabetic. Not some. Being a diabetic is billions of dollars. You know, they don't want us some. They want us to be diabetics. I found out how to get rid of it. And I'm going to tell you. And I know it's going to be a lot of me. I got to make sure all my T's are crossed, my I's are dotted, because I don't need these drug companies coming after me because I want to help people save their lives, get away from diabetes. You know, I know they're going to come out because this is a billion dollar industry. So they don't want you to not be a diabetic. They make too much money off you. So they're going to do everything in their power to stop me. But they don't want me to tell my story. They don't want me to say, hey, I'm not a diabetic no more. I'm not taking insulin. I got off of insulin. I was taking insulin from 2004 up into 2022. And now I'm not taking insulin no more. They don't want to hear that. They don't want, they don't want me to tell you what I did to get away from it. No. They want to keep you on this medicine because they make more money just treatment. Not solving the problem, but treatment. You know, and like I said, they ain't gonna cut no more money. You know, next they're gonna cut your leg off. No, no they, ain't, they ain't cutting no more. You already got some of my bone in my toe. You ain't getting no more. I'm not giving you no more of my stuff. That's the end. I'm going to keep myself healthy. And then you got to watch these food, food industry. You know, that processed food is killing people. Why is America letting them sell us processed food? Because it's killing us. Because they don't care about us. They only care about the money. As long as you're making money, they don't care. I remember, I'm, I'm in Baltimore, Maryland. I remember Bethlehem Steel. That was the top job in Baltimore. But you know how many people Bethlehem Steel killed? You know, they got a lot of diseases from working for that company. And there's a lot of companies that's just like 
Bethlehem Steel and the rest of these companies, they, they get you sick. They don't care. And, and the owner knows that over time, you're going to get sick from whatever chemicals in the company, but they don't care. They only care about the money. So what? I got to pay a billion dollars back when I made a trade. So, the, the, you know, the um, United States not going to never make them broke. Okay, you heard all these people, then I'm going to take all that income from you. No, they ain't going to do that. That's why these companies are going to continue to do stuff not caring about our health because they will never go broke. If they made $10 billion, the United States only going to make them pay a, a billion or two. And that's it. They still got $8 billion to play with. But, you know, they, they, this is their world. This is the world that we live in. This is the country that we live in. If you want to be successful, you can hurt all the people you want. As long as you're making money, they're going to they gonna do everything in their power to make sure you okay. But the only thing I'm saying to you is focus on whatever you're trying to do. If you need to lose weight, focus on losing weight. And a lot of foods that you eat, they got chemicals in that food that make you hungry after you finish eating. That's why you eat something, you still hungry. Why? Because they got chemicals on that food that make you feel like you eat nothing. Just so you can buy more. And, you know, you we got to stay away from this garbage. You know, and, and that's a sad thing. It's all about money. They don't care about human lives. It's all about money. As long as you're making money, you can do whatever you want to do in this, in this world. And I don't care where you live. As long as you're making money, you can do anything you want to do in this world to the human beings. You know, you can hurt them. As long as you can pay these politicians off, you can do whatever you want to do. All right, I'm out of here. Next time.